arrives to be sworn in and to take the oath of office. Swear, so she can also become the first lady of the Republic of Ghana. I, I, Nana, Ado Dankwa, Akufu Ado, do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear that I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana as by law established as by law established that I will uphold the sovereignty that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of Ghana and integrity of Ghana and that I will preserve and that I will preserve protect protect and defend the constitution and defend the constitution of, of the republic, the republic of, of ghana so, so help, help me god, god. i i Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado. Having been elected to the high office of President of the Republic of Ghana. Having been elected to the high office of the President of the Republic of Ghana. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and true to the Republic of Ghana and true to the Republic of Ghana that I will at all times preserve that I will at all times preserve protect protect and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana and that I dedicate myself and that I dedicate myself to the service to the service and the well-being of the people of the Republic of Ghana and the welfare of the people of the Republic of Ghana and to do right to all manner of persons and to do right to all manner of persons I further solemnly swear I further solemnly swear that should I at any time break this oath of office that should I at any time Break this oath of office. I shall submit myself. I shall submit myself to the laws of the Republic of Ghana. To the laws of the Republic of Ghana. And suffer the penalty for it. And suffer the penalty for it. So help me God. So help me God. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The, the President of the Republic of Ghana, of Ghana, of Ghana, of Ghana has to go to Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado signs the oath book after taking the oath of office and the oath of allegiance administered by the Chief Justice, Her Ladyship Georgina Theodora Wood. So, the Nadu Danko Kufuadu has taken a presidential oath and uh, he is now signing. 
the Earth Book. And uh, I can see a lot of MPP sympathizers, sympathizers here. Sympathizers in MPP colors, waving the Ghana flags, waving the MPP colors. It is indeed a victory, a victory for Ghana. Democracy has once again won. Ghana has once again won. And the president. So now we have president and vice president of the Republic of Ghana. Nana Dudankwe Kufuado, after signing, would now take his seat. And the Speaker of Parliament would now invite the, uh, the, the chairperson of the heads of state of ECOWAS and President of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency Ellen Johnson Seleff, to make a statement on behalf of ECOWAS. You know, ECOWAS is, uh, today, ECOWAS is very relevant looking at Gambia. And it is even expected that the heads of state that had assembled here to, to support the Nadu Dankwe Kufuado to swear in will from immediately after the swearing in meet with, Nan, uh, with Nane Kufuado chairing and making sure that they make a common position on Gambia. It is very interesting that uh, in President John Dramani Mahama's uh, final State of the Nations address, he said, when, I w when we were leaving parliament, he was a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Gambia was on the table. That was when the Ghanaians were murdered in Gambia. So the issue was an issue. And after this time that he is also now going to hand over the baton to him, Gambia is back on the table. This time, not that Ghanaians had been murdered in Gambia, but a genuine democratic election conducted. President Yaya Jame supervising the election, conceding defeat, recognizing that I have lost, and then later changing his mind. With the, now Nanado is now going to take the staff and swear, swear, That's right. So, uh, what does this signify? That is the authority of, of, of the office that he is going to hold. You know, we have a tradition. If you look at the Ghanaian setting, we have a tradition of custom and culture. And uh, the, if you look at the chiefs, they always have to be representing the people. Holding this sword is an indication that I promise all of you that the words I had just spoken. I will abide by them. That if I fail, if I don't do justice to all manner of persons in this land of ours, and I fail, I suffer the penalties thereof. And so he is now, he has now taken the oath and holding the sword. He has now given, he has the authority now, and now he is the president of the Republic of Ghana. So all documents that carry president-elect would cease to be, to be documents. Now, it is documents that would now come should be president of the Republic of Ghana. Now, that is the first lady of the Republic of Ghana, Rebecca. As affectionately referred to as my lady Rebecca. My lady Rebecca. Yes. Oh, uh, we have Samira Baumia on your shots as well. Uh, they cannot hold back their tears, and, and rightly so. I think that the, these are moments where you can spare some tears of joy. Um, as we uh, herald this particular moment. It's, it's the dawn of a new era, uh, beckoning, and as we speak at the moment, now we can say we have the full complement of the leadership of this country, the president and the vice president, the speaker of parliament, uh, all now fully in place, at least, with what has happened at the Black Star Square now. So, uh, Mr. Posompim, Clearly, now from this day onwards, President Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado will be the reference, isn't it? Will be the reference, and that is absolutely right. And so um, he would now, 
um, today being Saturday, maybe we don't know if he would want to start work immediately. As that former uh, uh, former British okay. Prime Minister John Major, okay. when he took so office, so we have the said, chief of staff uh, on your screens night right now, uh, Madam Fema Oseyo Pare, who uh, now chief of staff, former legislator representing the I also was Wogan constituency.